And then everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. Now this is where I have my lessons. Uh, John Cook. He used to coach uh, all the England squads, um, the Thailand squads, um, and he's got his own academy now, which I'm uh, a part of. Uh, he coaches uh, a few ladies on the LPGA Tour and European Tour, and he also coaches uh, Kiradesh Afibam on the European Tour. That's the big Thai lad who is one heck of a player. Um, so I've just had a lesson down here, and it's probably one of the best lessons I've ever had. Um, he's just improved me slightly, and it just shows you how one little thing can affect the range of shots, or can give you a bit of a negative on your performance in sport. Now, probably one of the most crucial parts is the head position and what the head does throughout the swing now that was all that was really wrong to be honest uh, I did tend to pick the club up a little bit um, and that was basically all down to where my head position was at address now I'll show you in the video or the clips after this uh, where my head was and where he wants me to get it to now now, if I had a GoPro strapped to my head, you'd be able to see the difference. But, unfortunately, I don't have that luxury just yet um, to be able to show you the difference that it makes. But, it gives me a full shoulder turn, gets me into a good strong position at the top, and then I'm able to give it a right good whip through, release uh, the club through the ball, release my hips from my left hip, and give me a lot more power into the ball. And I was absolutely striping it today on the range. So I'm really pleased how I've got on. Um, John's made me a little bit more excited about France as well. Even though I was pretty much 100% excited anyway. Um, because that's only in six weeks time. Um, so myself and my mum are going out there to get a little practice in. Ready for the season um, and the opening competitions. Um, it was really nice to see John. He lo he's looking well. Um, so we're going to head back to Shropshire now uh, and go and put into practice what I've learnt today um, and I'll talk through a little bit more about what I've been doing. Right guys, we're back down here at the Shropshire Golf Club. Uh, I've travelled back up from uh, Haycock Park down in Oxfordshire. Uh, back to my own club, the Shropshire. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I've been taught uh, and what I'm going to learn uh, throughout the next couple of weeks before I go away uh, to France with John and uh, a nice little group. It's not too big and it's not too small either. Um, so we'll get lots of time to practice and really hone our skills in ready for the start of the season come April. Right, so what I've learnt today is, uh, it's quite amazing actually, because the head is one of the, probably one of the biggest components within the swing, because whatever that does, everything else is going to do, because obviously everything's attached. Now, my problem was, I'd set up to the ball and my head would be over here. Now, as you can see, my head is pretty much at an angle there whereas it should be slightly there so the drill that me and John have worked on is to basically set up as normal but almost take it back about a foot now as my head moves back with that I can put the club back to where it is or should be at address and that is perfect because I should be seeing the ball down with my left eye which is my dominant eye as uh, it is in life so this gives me a good settled position to really be able to get the club in a nice position at the top. Now if my head is there, I'm not able to do a full swing as you can see. So 
so it's almost like a pickup. If I go from this angle, it's almost a pickup. Whereas if my head is in the right position, I can get a nice full turn in and get to parallel, which I wasn't able to do before. Now, that is one of the most important things I took away from today. So I'm really going to crack on with that. Also, uh, another little point was my weight was too far on my heels. So I was like that. So John's trying to get me to get my knees over the top of my toes. So I can really feel a nice positive and balanced position at a dress. And that will help me throughout the whole of the swing. Um, and the last point is he wants me to try and get through the ball. So now I'm in a nice position there. I can really take it to the top there, but he wants me to start with my left hip, come down, and it's almost like yanking a chain. Uh, Garcia has said it before, Sergio Garcia has said that before. It's almost like yanking the chain, and then as it comes through, clear the left hip out of the way, and really get it firing forwards. He doesn't want me to go backwards, as that's my tendency. So, there's three pointers. That's what I've learnt today uh, with John. I'm going to crack on with it and see how I get on. Right guys, um, back home from a very long day, um, as you've seen I've been down to see my coach this morning, well this morning and this afternoon, a uh, really good session, really good day, um, really confident now with how everything's going, just trying to slowly build myself up until that first event in April um, whichever one that's going to be um, but now I'm swinging well I'm really really pleased with that and the work that me and Ron do all he does is try to put me back to where he knows I swing best uh, which is important that's a key uh, mentality to have because if you know and your coach know in any sport um, the way you play your best all you have to do is think back to what you did then and just try and replicate that um, obviously other things come into it to try and get you to almost be better than that so you've got your S and C or strength and conditioning your tactical thinking uh, psychological stuff all that but technically you have your own technique that's yours you take that you know you and your coach know when you're doing your best or when you swing best or whatever sport it is you know when you play your best all you have to do is replicate that and te well really it's, you should do well in theory unless you get a bit of bad luck obviously but um, but apart from that I'm, I'm really pleased with how today's gone I uh, went to the range uh, earlier, as you've seen, and I've continued to put into practice what I've been taught. Um, I'm really happy. So, um, today's been good. Um, now I'm just going to chill out and relax. 
um, for work tomorrow. Um, I'll do another range session. Try and get out and do some short game afterwards, but I don't know whether it'll be light enough. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll go to the gym in the morning before work at 11. And we'll have another good day. Um, so far this week's been quite busy. Um, so let's just keep going. Keep working hard.